here's how I want you to set your feet at a dress. I want you to take your trail foot and have it square to the line at a 90 degree angle, your toes pointing at the line. Your lead foot, I want you to have it flared out. The square to the line, 90 degree angle, flared out. Now, if you notice, this is right out of the Hogan book. Uh, it's not the reason I'm using it. Let me explain the reason why I do use it. We'll start your trail foot. If your trail foot is square with the line, then when you roll up onto the inside of your foot, your hip and knee will go down the line. See, hip and knee go down the line. Now, if you have this flared open, then it encourages your hip and knee to go toward the toward the target line or toward the ball. Of course, if you do this too much, that's called spinning out the hips. But by squaring this up, prevents any spinning out the hips. It encourages your hip just to go down the line, which allows you, by the way, to turn your hips as hard as you want. Now, why do I flare this one? For just the opposite reason. When you come and roll onto this, your outer foot at the end of your swing, shift your weight. Because it's flared, it encourages your knee and hip to move back away from the line. Notice this hip is moving away from the line. My trail hip is moving down the line. In neither case are they getting in the way of the swing or blocking my swing. The last thing you want is for your hips to pop out over toward the, toward the line or toward the ball. So by addressing your feet in this position, it helps to prevent that.